Welcome to the Invention Licensing Show. I'm your host, David Fido, and I'm here to help you license your product. Today, we're gonna to talk about desire versus compulsion and the differences. So to jump right into it, desire versus compulsion. This is something that uh, I started thinking about and started really seeing the difference, not only in myself, but also coaching individuals through this process. And this will only take a little, little bit of time to differentiate. Uh, like, <laughs> personal example, uh, I have the desire to be physically fit. So I have a little, little gym set up, um, and I have you know workout space, all these different things set up. It's a desire, right? But I have a compulsion to be successful in inventing, and so I do that every day. I have no problem. And I want you to look at the compulsions in your life. And that is the difference, is a lot of people have desires to be truly wealthy, but they don't have the compulsion, so they don't do anything about it. A lot of people have the desire to be fit and healthy and lose weight, but they don't have the compulsion. So find your compulsions, see what they are. And you may even be able to start to direct your compulsions and see that, you know what? You're, you know, just speaking kind of like, I found that I was like, you know what, I'm right. Like, I have a desire to work out every day, but I don't have that compulsion like I do with inventing. And so I'm starting to look at those things and separate what are my compulsions in life and what are my desires. I have all these desires, but there's no compulsion behind it. Um, and, and that's what I want you to look at in your life. What are your compulsions? What drives you? What do you do on a daily basis that you're just so compelled to do? And that's where you'll find where your life is, right? If you're compelled to watch Netflix every single day, at least two, three hours a day, and eat whatever you want, then your body, your your wallet, your life probably reflects all those things. And so if you see where your compulsions lie, you'll probably see a reflection in the mirror of those compulsions because those compulsions reflected outward will be what your life is. And that will be kind of that heart to heart moment you have with yourself sitting down and saying, God, my compulsions don't align with what I really want my life to truly look like. And you need to start looking at how do I get my compulsions to align with my desires or what I want my life to truly look like. And so I hope that helps. I hope that can kind of point your mind or let you open your eyes to what's really happening behind the curtain inside your mind. Um, the compulsions lead you down the path. Your desires are just things that you think about. Um, so understand your compulsions and you'll, you'll be able to see in the mirror of what your life really is. Um, and then you'll be able to fix it. I hope you got everything out of that short little video of desire versus compulsion. I know when I came across this concept in my life, I really got to look in the mirror and see that uh, my compulsions were a reflection of what my life truly is. And so I hope you got something out of that and you can relate to that and start to look at your own life and, and correct or refocus your compulsion of what you wanna do in life. Uh, so if you got anything out of that video, do give me a thumbs up or subscribe now. Uh, the next video we have is all about ah yes uh, your brain is limited your brain is limited by uh, kind of all the things that you focus on so you need to get organized and I want to break that down exactly how I did that and I was able to expand my abilities my cap my capabilities uh, my mental focus and my ability to execute on a higher level to bring success into my life